Hey y'all, Courtney Lyons here with Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, and today we have a fun whipping chat. I do them every other week because uh, that's what I can do. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, whip and chat is for anyone who's new because I know there's a lot of new diamond painters out there right now um, coming in. Welcome to the community if you are. Uh, I, a whip and chat is when I work on my current whip or work in progress, so whatever I'm working on, and we just talk. And we have some fun stuff to talk about today. Uh, I'm going to get started first with, I'm gonna tell you what, what we're gonna do first though. But I'm gonna do, this is Simply Gilded. I can't show you the other side because then it's my address. And Simply Gilded is a washi tape. It has other things, it's like a journaling company. But they have amazing washi tape. I actually, the first time I tried their washi tape was fairly recently and I used it to hold down the corners of the washi tape that you put around the edge of your diamond painting because I was so tired of it coming up. So even Diamond Art Club's washi tape, which is pretty good, still comes up and it drives me nuts. So like it rolls up when you like hit your elbow against it or something. And so I was like, well, let's try this Simply Gilded washi tape, which was kind of saving because I got it in a de-stash pack from uh, Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights. I got a, it was a, oh, what is it? It is a Muni Made tray. So it was a Muni Made tray that I got from her and she slipped in a couple of her Simply Gilded um, <laughs> diamond or, or uh, washi tape, which was so, so kind of her. I really appreciated that and now I'm hooked. Because <laughs> when I put that down, I finally cracked it open and I was like, well, I'll just put it a little bit on the corner. I won't use too much tape. And it's staying, and it's amazing, and so I'm a little hooked now, and I went, and I just got a few of them. I, I got these, these are specific to the kits I want to do, so we'll go ahead and open that in just a second. I am going to be working on the, it's the Cinnamon Cat set from Diamond, it's DIY, here, I'm just going to bring it close, because I don't really know how to say it, it's Diamond Delights, and I think the E-L is because um, she goes by, I don't know what she goes by, but her name starts with E-L. I'm blanking it for a second. I'll, I'll pop it right here if I can remember. And DIY Diamond. So I just think that's so fun. Such a fun play on words. Um, she actually sent me a new set to show on my channel. I'm so excited. That will be an unboxing probably coming up next week sometime. So yeah, which I really, really appreciate of her. So that's what I'm working on. I have a really fun project with this. It should be coming out tomorrow. In the meantime, I just need to finish these, but they work up so quickly, like I think like 20 minutes for each one. So it's really nice. They are adorable. The stickers are very high quality. The diamonds are very high quality. And that is what we're going to be working on right now. By the way, did I show you this? This is a sticker. It's a sticker. Anyway, I have a really, really cool way I want to display this. And it's one of you viewers, Julie, who gave me the idea. And so you're gonna see that tomorrow of them all finished and in fast motion you'll actually see me finishing them and then my how I display them at the end so um and then I am using this is both of these were made by my husband and what's really cool about this one is this is going to be the giveaway and now I'm sure some of you are like uh why are you using the pen that you're giving away well a couple reasons all very important uh when my husband makes these he, we have to make sure that they, because every once in a while, and it will only happen at the beginning, it won't happen later on. It might have a split in it in the sides, and, or it's, we just have to catch that right away. And if it doesn't happen right away, then it's, it's good. But if it does happen right away, like, we're just checking to make sure that there are no splits. And then it, sometimes it's easy, super easy to just, like, quickly put in a little bit of, like, wood glue in there and then fix it and sand it back down uh not a problem but um we just want to make sure it's high quality and then the other thing is is when he puts the finish on he he uses just a natural oil finish so that you don't lose any of the natural coloring of the wood and so what you do what we do is we work with it for a little bit and then once we've worked with it it kind of dulls a little bit it gets more of the matte finish and then he'll go over it again with the the oil and then it'll kind of, it just cures better. I don't know what it is, but those two things um, 
we work on. So I figured I'll use this for this. Plus I want to check and see if it's comfortable because I'm, I, I mean, we changed, they're completely unique. They, none of them are the same. So I, if it's like, oh man, my, my hand's cramping. This isn't a comfortable pen. It's not the one I'm going to give away. So I hope that all makes sense. Um, those of you who, there's a couple people who <clears throat> are getting some pens from us just to say thank you because they've given me kits and just helped out with the channel i just and they're just they've become friends like i just it's really cool how much i've become friends with people from this community i just it, it was came at a time where it was so needed just barely moving here sorry i'm gonna move you just a second um just barely moving here and feeling really lonely and it just it really did come at the perfect timing your guys's friendship okay so um Let's do, let's see, what else? So we're gonna do open the Simply Gilded. I told you what I'm working with here. Oh, I didn't bring my tray. Oh wait, I don't have my tray, that's why. <laughs> These guys are my new love. And if you've seen any of my other videos about them, it hasn't changed. This is still my favorite. These are tray bricks and you just kit them up here. See, there's my sticker. And I don't need a tray. I have no need to change colors. I just use that, I, I don't have enough. I am working on that. Um, I don't have enough yet to like, I only have the 10, but these are easy enough. I just put the smallest amount in here so that I can just open this up and easily pick them up through here. Um, and that works great. Like it works really well. And I don't, I mean, the very few diamonds in there. So that's really cool. I don't need a tray. So, and then I am going to be working with Patsy Putty. Um, at this point, I'm kind of trying to just use it up. I know that sounds harsh, that sounds bad, but you guys know that I'm very honest with you guys on here and Patsy Putty is not my favorite. That doesn't mean it's not a good putty. Um, a lot of putties from what I understand are very climate dependent because if you, maybe if you lived in a place that was more humid, this would be more helpful. Or probably if you're, you kept your house colder than I do, than we do, then this would be helpful. Um, I just noticed, I just find that it dries out quickly for us. So maybe that's why it would work really well in a humid climate. And um, it just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's not my favorite so far. My favorite putty has been Cat's um, Putty from Cat's Diamond Painting. She has an Etsy shop. I'll try to link it down below if I can find it and remember because I actually got it from uh, Diamond Art Studio UK and then I recently found out that she has an Etsy shop and I'm like, ooh, that would be awesome because <laughs> I think it would probably be a lot less in shipping. So um, who knows, maybe we'll figure it out. But so that's what I'm using. And then I wanted to show you guys the other thing. I'm just going to kind of chat with you guys about updates about my family and our lives and what we've been doing. Uh, we saw the Northern Lights this last weekend and it was, oh my gosh, it was not even just saying this, it was life altering, life changing. It has been on my bucket list for a long time and I'm really excited to tell you about that. So, because it's kind of a funny story. Um, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the <laughs> sneak peek and filming it because I thought you guys might be interested in that. And that's also kind of a funny story because Ooh, okay, yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> and then um, future channel changes. I just wanna to talk to you guys about future channel changes. I wanna get your ideas and um, kind of have you guys be my soundboard. Um, I'd love it if you could comment down below and give me your feedback on some of my ideas if you think they're good ideas, not good ideas, and changes that you might like, might not like. And then, um, yeah, that's it. And then they're just talking about the giveaway pen, so. Anyway, that's why I'm using the giveaway pen. Sorry if that bothers you guys. I'd rather use it and make sure it's high quality and that it's doing what it's supposed to do before I send it out anyway. Um, I'm gonna give you a spoiler, I love it. I'm like seriously debated. I'm like, maybe I'll just keep this one and give them a different one. But I'm nice and I'm not gonna do that. It's yours, it's one of yours. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pull this plastic back and get started on this pumpkin one which is my favorite one. I just think it's so adorable. And I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see me working on this better. Okay, so uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 what am I thinking? Simply Gilded, let's open this first. Put that off the side, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, I won't forget. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Um, maybe I'm gonna open this up. Uh, yeah, yeah, scissors. Oh no, I've got tweezers. We're gonna, we're gonna do the tweezers. 
We're gonna go caveman. Ugh. Oh, nothing is hurting these spools of tape. Okay, I like that it's gold bubble nailer. Make sure this doesn't have my address on it. It does have the tape I got. By the way, if you go onto their site, they do have weekly deals so that um, a lot of them are like half off and they rotate which ones they have half off. So that other deal is pretty cool. First off, here's an adorable sticker. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. Oh my gosh, look how cute. These are just little individual stickers. Like there's an exercise sticker and an eat. Oh, oh my gosh, you can't even see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there's the pretty sticker. Um, I'm really loving this. This is like a an adorable. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um, Animal Crossing. Not Animal Crossing. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, it's like Cozy Campfire. Uh, it's a video game, and I haven't actually played it, but this reminds me of it, The just the artwork. That's really cute. And totally going to use that for something, probably in my logbook. Um, that's really fun. Look at stickers all around me. You know, I never used to be a sticker person, but lately I'm just loving stickers. Okay, and then here are all the different ones. I keep bumping you guys, sorry. And then a little word, a little thing that says celebrate, which is fun. I'm going to zoom you out just for this part. Okay, so these are the ones I chose. So let me show you this. I have it, you know, my kit that is my Create Love Share kit and it's the, I'll pop a picture up right here, but it's the, uh, it's like the koi fish with the bridge and the girl running down the bridge and it's all like galaxy, it's gorgeous. Uh, I haven't actually put tape around the edge yet because I haven't technically kitted it up yet. Although I have done a square and that was for a video way back when um, I'm sure you guys saw it. If not, go back and check it out. It is me working on trying to make the canvas not wrinkled because it got really wrinkled. But the rest of the canvas is amazing and I've loved working on what I've worked on even though it's not much. So um, I decided let's get a really good washi tape for it. Well, mostly I just saw this was on sale and thought, ooh, that works really well for that one. So that's this one. Um, this I am super excited for. This one I want to put on my uh, 12 Days of Christmas Hannah Lynn one, which I am going to work on in Christmas in July. And that is the, the kit that my dear friend Dawn gave me and she has her channel. I will try to, sorry Dawn, if I don't remember, I'm really bad at remembering sometimes, but I'm gonna link it down below. Um, she is, uh, oh my gosh, I'm spacing your channel name for a second. Um, the Yarn Over Store. Okay, there we go. I had crochet and, and stuff in it. Um, but the Yarn Over Store is her. So please go and follow her. She is adorable. She has a ton of different unboxings for especially newer kits. And um, anyway, she's a lot of fun. So that I got this. What the heck? Did they add in an extra one? Hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm just kind of second guessing myself because there's one I don't remember getting. <laughs> anyway, back to this one. So I just thought, it's hard to see because of the glare. There we go. Um, that would be so perfect for that kit. It's, it's just the perfect Christmas washi for that kit. So I'm going to be using this one for that. And the nice thing about these washi tapes is there's a lot of them, so I could use them for other kits as well. Um, or for like kidding up, moving around and stuff like that. Um, okay, this one I adore, look how cute this is. Now I don't have a particular kit in mind, although the kit I did kind of think of when seeing this was my recently unboxed um, Cornucopia something by, gosh, it's late and I can't remember the names of anything. I'll pop up the picture. Uh, once again, I <laughs> hopefully remember. But yeah, the uh, I just thought this was perfect for fall and eventually I'll be doing a fall one and I was like, well, whatever fall ones I do, this is the perfect washi tape for. So I love that it's gilded. And then let's come over to here. Now this one I had in mind to kit up my clouds. Oh shoot, once again, I'll pop it up. It's called Simply, no, not Simply Clouds, <laughs> Simply Gilded, Something Clouds. Um, it was Kara 
the principal diamond painter that showed the sneak peek of this, but it was the beautiful ocean one that sold out so quickly. I was really lucky to get it. Anyway, I saw this and I was like, that is the perfect washi tape for that. And I was going to, to kit it up right away, but then I, uh, I don't want to spoil it, but someone sent me a kit that, and it was so, so, so kind of her. I'm going to make a whole video of it and shout her out. She wants to start her channel, a channel soon too, which would be really cool. But I, when she was sending it to me, I'm like, that's the one I'm going to kit up. That's the one. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Like, I don't have enough kits kitted up. I might have to finish one first and then kit it up. Um, but yeah, so this one actually might work for that. That one that she's going to send me. Um, she's already, she's already bought it for me. It was so, I just, you guys are so incredibly kind and What's the word for it? Um, giving, what's another word for that? Another word for giving, but giving, just amazing. So this this one might work for the one that I'll be getting in. That's that's a surprise for now. But anyway, I had, saw this one. The one I actually had in mind was Agisai, which I think is how you say it. The Margaret Morales one with the hydrangeas. And guys, hydrangeas, I decided, are my favorite flowers. They're, I just love blue flowers, forget-me-nots, hydrangeas, bluebells. I mean, there's all sorts of them. I just, I love them. So that's that one. And then I seriously don't remember getting this one. <laughs> I think it might have accidentally tacked onto my cart without me realizing it. It's adorable. I just don't have anything in mind for it. But because these are rather more expensive, and I do really like, I have a ton of the Diamond Art Club ones, I think what I'm going to start doing, like I did with Rose Library, is put the if it matches the Diamond Art Club washi tape around and then just use this to kind of put keep the, the sides down while I'm working because as long as I'm not working on it the sides stay down just fine it's just my arm moving back and forth on the corners that pulls it up so as long as I put this there because this one's not moving because it's simply gilded and that's amazing so okay that's enough of these um I'm super excited to use these these are just uh Kara, the principal diamond painter, again, set calls the Diamond Art Club's canvases the Cadillac of diamond painting canvases. Well, Simply Gilded, I've come to realize, is like the Cadillac of washi tapes. It's really nice. Okay, so now let's get started on Pumpkin Cat. And I tried to zoom in again. There we go, so you can see that a bit. I might bump you every once in a while just because of the way that... Here, let me try doing this. Just because of the way this is set up. There we go, that's much better. Okay, so, um, things we've been up to lately. Well, we've been doing a lot of Oakley's baseball games, which has been really, really fun. Uh, they, we've all had so much fun going and watching them. Baseball is not really a sport I've really gotten into, but now that Oakley's on a team, I love the sport, it's so much fun. Usually I don't have an issue with these. There we go. Uh, but he's he's funny because sometimes he'll get into his own head about it, and um, you know he's just, it's his first year, so he's new to it. But it's really cool. They actually had him do the not this last game today, but the the game last week on Thursday. They had him be the the what is it the pitcher the one who throws the ball the pitcher and he has a really good arm and he's really good at aiming and then sometimes he'll get in his own head and he he won't get the, get it but i just i was so proud of him because i was like dude good job you really tried at that and you did really good and he i think he struck two people out and then the, i think another time they got out from someone catching the ball or whatever or passing it to first and getting them out, like tagging them or something like that. Anyway, so we were really proud of him that he got two of the outs from his pitching and really good pitches. He pitched again today. He didn't quite do as well. Um, I think he just got in his own head, but he still, he's got the talent there and we're, we're so proud of him. Um, even if he wasn't good at it, we would be so proud of him because he is outside and he is exercising and he is trying and else uh little zinny uh, she, she's so cute uh nothing really new with her lately but a just funny story was that she 
she first off she just loves talking like a baby and sometimes we're like Zinnia please talk like a big girl please talk like a big girl we just you're six years old you're not a baby right and um so we work on that with her but lately then she's like picked up a, d a new thing where she's like um so I can fix this, fix this clear oh well most of you guys just listen anyway but <laughs> where we say or she'll say uh She'll start cleaning around the house. First off, she's like my really good cleaner. She just will randomly clean for me. And it's so kind. And I just, I need that in life. I really, really do. She's just always thinking of other people. But it's funny because she lately she'll start cleaning. And then she's like, ah, my body's controlling me. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, my body is controlling me and I'm cleaning. <laughs> okay. It's the most random thing, but okay. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm happy getting some help. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, she's a sweetheart. She'll lately, she's also, this isn't just lately, she always does this, but she says anytime that someone gives her something to be nice, like a little treat or whatever, um, she always say, Can I have another one? And sometimes she won't explain that she wants to give one to her brother, Oakley. And she's always been like, she's just. She's always been so thoughtful and she always just makes sure that he has one too. If she's going to get it, then she will make sure that he will get it too. Or if I'm like, if he's not in the house, he's gone somewhere with Greg, I'm like, uh, and then I get some ice cream out. I'm like, you want some ice cream today? And she'll say, yeah, but only if Oak can have one too when he gets back. I'm like, okay, that's fine, sweet girl. So she's just a big sweetheart and I'm so glad to have her in my life too and her help cleaning because... These are messy kids and they're home all day and I need help with the cleaning. <laughs> so let's see what else. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to die with this. It's so cute. So Reese, the other day, got so tired at the dinner table. It, well, it was like for lunch that he started to fall asleep at the table and I didn't, like, the kids are like, Reese is falling asleep. And I came over and he's starting to get to that age where he starts to get goofy and joking around. I'm going to zoom it out just a little bit. Excuse me. So that he's, like, jokes around a bit now. And so when um, I came over, I was like, Reese, are you pretending to fall asleep? And, um, but no, he was actually falling asleep. And I know that I don't usually show videos on my channel of my kids um, just for a couple reasons, um, but the main, I, I was trying to, I'm like, what, what is it that makes me uncomfortable? And I realize I know what it is. I do not want to capitalize on my kids. And I know that sounds opposite of what I'm doing right now because I'm telling kind of some funny stories, but I feel like that's different than, like, me having them in my, not that that's, not that it's, like, the, I don't know like a horrible thing to like have a blog of your family by any means. Um, I just, with my kids, I just want them, I want to share little fun stories without having their lives be everywhere and having their faces be everywhere. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But that being said, I think me showing an adorable little video of Reese falling asleep at the table is perfectly fine. I just don't want to be like, that be my channel, if that makes sense. Um, I want it to be like maybe a cute little aspect about my channel, but certainly not be capitalizing on my kids and their cuteness. But I feel like this one is too good not to share and I will share things every once in a while, but just not like have it be the thing. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so right here, I'm gonna pop up the video of him falling asleep. It's so funny. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> He's so cute. I think we've rewatched the video like a hundred times, not even kidding, because I'll just randomly bring it up on my phone and we'll all watch it because it's so adorable. 
Look how great this is, guys. I'm done with this color and I'm just getting the next one out. I don't have to... I actually don't know why I use this because they open fine on their own. Anyway, I don't have to put it in the tray. It's already in the tray. All set up. I love, love, love that. They do have a smaller size. I haven't decided if I wanted that yet. So that is the update with, not the whole update. I guess one of the fun things we did, oh my gosh, that's just the biggest understatement of my life I just did right there. The Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, which is actually what ABs in diamond painting are named after. Guys, it was insane. So Greg saw on, it all started with Greg seeing on Reddit that the there's gonna be a solar, a huge solar storm this weekend or as like last weekend and but when he saw that it said obviously that it was going to be this weekend and he was like oh the northern lights are supposed to be like really big here and i was like oh that sounds cool and i mean i don't know i didn't have my expectations up too high mostly because i don't usually do that because i don't like to be disappointed i'd rather just be unexpectedly surprised because yeah um and so I didn't really think too much, but I just thought, let's do it. That's gonna be awesome to just at least even just go out and make it a whole new thing because we'd have to stay up pretty late, right? So it's gonna be a really big adventure for the kids, be a big adventure for us. And so we did, and we went up um, to the ski mountain up close to us and the uh, parked up there as far up as we could. But then we realized that we're terrible directionally and that north of us from up there is actually a little bit blocked by some of the taller mountains so we're like well oh, crap <laughs> but it's okay because we it didn't even matter here because it's we're so close the solar storm was so huge that we're as far up north as we are you could actually see them really close like they were right overhead so we did see some like white cloud stuff and i'll kind of try to show you that um, pictures of this. We saw some white cloud stuff that I was like, Greg, I'm pretty sure with the way that's moving that that's the northern lights. But the thing is, is it wasn't colorful and it was right above us. And we were looking north because we we're like, it's well, we know it's going to be the north and we we're expecting it just to be on the horizon. We just weren't expecting it right above us. And so Greg was like, I just, that's not it. Those are clouds. Those are clouds. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure that's it. He's like, those are clouds. I was like, okay, fine. And so we didn't really see a lot, but it still also wasn't getting quite dark enough. It's maybe only like 9.30 at this point. And um, we decided ultimately to go back down the mountain and head north on the highway that goes straight north because then we're like, well, then maybe we can see it from the highway just looking straight. But on our way down, we realized there's another parking area. And we're like, why don't we try this other parking area? Cause we saw a lot of people parked there. And so sure enough, we did. And that's when we started to see it. And we realized that those, that I was right, Greg, <laughs> just kidding, if you're watching this, um, that I was right that, um, sorry, I just realized I'm talking really loud and my family's trying to sleep. <laughs> but that I was right in those clouds, things were the Aurora Borealis. And now the thing about it though, is now it was more obvious before it was just kind of like, was it was it not what's going on here it was still too kind of light out to tell but at this point it was really starting to get dark and finally we started to see a little bit of color but i gotta be honest like it was pretty disappointing because we could see the different colors a little bit maybe in a certain parts but then it kind of was mostly just white cloud looking stuff and we were kind of like, well, that's lame. But then when we started taking pictures, we turned up the exposure and I'll show you a few of those pictures right here. We turned up the exposure and the, um, what's the word? Like the timing, like the overexposure. No, that's not it. Whatever it is that leaves the lens open. And we set it to 10 seconds. So it was kind of hard to get it to not move because then kids were wiggling on us the whole time but we were sitting on the hood of the car and just right outside and stuff and reese was asleep he missed the whole thing pretty much but he uh yeah when we took the pictures with the camera like that 
then we started to get some pretty cool colors not like amazing but it, it was pretty cool and we're like okay well if this is the only thing we see that's not a huge deal i guess and then finally after maybe about an hour it's maybe like coming up to 11. we're like ah, i think we've had enough the kids are getting tired let's go ahead and start heading home and so we started heading home down the mountain we were trying to keep ourselves like happy we're like oh that was fun that was cool like you know it wasn't i mean it's maybe it's always just kind of like over exaggerated in the pictures when people say that and they're like we still got to see it we still crossed it off our bucket list um it was still cool you know we we're kind of talking ourselves into it still being cool which really it was like it really was still cool but um it definitely um it was, a, it was a bit of a letdown from what we were expecting even though i tried to keep my expectations low but then but then <laughs> we saw as we were driving down we'd come down out of the mountain and i saw just kind of in the distance to right outside my window i saw some light happening and i was like greg greg pull over and down at the bottom there's kind of a little red barn area where you where we actually parked during the ski school time to take the shuttle up and unfortunately, they had their lights on, it was super bright, but it ended up not mattering because I was like, Greg, pull over over here because suddenly the sky started exploding and we all like got out and looked up at the sky and not even kidding, you guys are going to laugh, but I seriously had the thought of like, this is how I get sucked into a different dimension. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bumping you, I'm going to move my leg. But yeah, I was just like, we're going to get we're going to a new world guys <laughs> getting sucked into a different dimension it seriously felt like that i mean i can't even describe it to you guys it was right above us it was the purples it was the greens it was the pinks it was the most intense and almost neon purples it, and it, it was everything we hoped and dreamed for for the Aurora borealis and more plus more <laughs> because it was right above our heads and i i it was I'll, I'll show you guys those pictures and the thing is is this time whereas before like the pictures and the overexposure of the pictures is what captured the color and looked way better in the pictures than it did in real life this time the pictures didn't do it justice like during this explosion thing like it just it wasn't i was just like there's the i will never capture the exact thing on camera because it, it just it doesn't it doesn't show up is the same way like capturing a sunset it never shows up the same way but the this was like that except the opposite way where it, or no, no sorry the before it was the opposite way now it was this way where it just there was no no comparing it to the pictures like in real life so that was amazing we lost it reese had woken up and was crying so we were kind of like trying to calm him down while also trying to enjoy ah babies um trying to enjoy you know the light show it was it was seriously life-changing guys i don't know how else to explain it it was it was life-altering because you're just like staring up the sky thinking there is a god there is a god and he has made an incredible firework show for us it was so cool and it's also so cool to think like that was the earth that's the earth protecting us that's the that's the magnetic field around the earth protecting us from what would be devastating would take out the world isn't that insane you're looking at this and you feel so terrified and yet amazed and yet safe and you're staring at this the i don't see i don't even have words for it you're staring at this vortex above your head thinking thank goodness there is a magnetic field around the earth because right now i would be fried otherwise <laughs> like isn't that so crazy to think about anyway we ended up making it home because we it started to die down a little and reese really was losing it so we're like well we better get going that was really cool and um it did slow down the thing is is that greg had an app or he he was on a site that made it so he could keep updated with what the storm was doing in real time and kind of they could do even like a little forecast of it and so we saw it was taking a break and so we went home we got reese a bottle and we got us all a bunch of coats and blankets because it was getting pretty chilly 
and went down to the dock and watched it over the water and it was just like round two. It never got quite as vibrant. Um, it was when we got out of the car, but um, it never got quite as vibrant as the, the red barn area is what we're calling it, but it was still incredible, especially seeing it over the, the water like that. As I was kind of avoiding using the multi-placer. This is really actually not bad gapping at all for such a tiny kit. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was really cool. We all stayed up till about 1230. Um, and then even then when Greg and I were in bed, we were just like laying there talking about it. And we're like, I can't sleep because <laughs> this is so cool. Of course, I was like, had to get up early the next morning because I was going to the LDS temple. And uh, with uh, it was like a temple trip with our, our church for the for the women and it was i woke up at six and i was a zombie the whole day i'm sure it's super socially awkward because i get really socially awkward when i haven't had sleep um people are like what the heck is going on with courtney um but yeah that was it was amazing um i'm sure during this whole thing i'll pop up the pictures and videos of it and wow, just wow. So that was our weekend last weekend and honestly can't think of what would ever top that again. <laughs> uh, Greg and I talked about, we're like, that was the most amazing night of our lives that would have been like not family oriented, like being married and first baby and stuff like that. Like other than that, that was the most amazing night of our lives. It was that cool. So um, anyway, so that was the very un like you really can't explain it in words version of what we did this weekend okay so uh let's see where are we on time i don't even see it doesn't tell me and i'm like way down here sorry i hope that hasn't been like that this whole time oh well uh we'll talk until i run out of things to do and if it's two hours or half an hour or whatever i guess but anyway okay so that was us um then the next thing i want to talk about was the sneak peek i just thought you guys might think it's kind of funny to hear about the first sneak peek behind the scenes the chaos behind the scenes versus like the not chaos of at least i don't think it seemed chaotic if the actual edited version of it so i decided and now that i'm looking back i'm like that was so dumb I decided to do the sneak peek outside because if you guys have seen it, I got the hamster explorers and they are outside in a little stream, these little hamsters in a boat, and there's a bunch of dandelions around them. Well, our yard right now is full of dandelions and there's a little stream and it's all green behind where I was wanting to film. And so the ambiance is great but I didn't realize how hard it would be. And there's a touch of wind and there's a ton of traffic going by for some odd reason. And so I had to edit out so many traffic noises. It was a nightmare. Plus I just barely got it that day of, for the day that I filmed it. So I really wanted to get it out really soon because it, it had to get to me late anyway. Um, it really is like, it's not anybody's fault whatsoever. Diamond Art Clubs are mine or any, really anybody because they have a lot of things that they are going to be doing and going to be changing. So because of that, a lot of the kits are kind of coming out of production late to us sneak peekers. Not a big deal. I'm so grateful just to be able to do sneak peeks. And um, yeah, I, I mean like, it's not like they were mad that we get them out late. They are just, guys, they are so nice. Like the people that we work with for the sneak peeks, they're just so gracious and so kind. And I'm not just saying that because they give me kits. Like they just are really nice people. And um, anyway, so yeah, that's that's why it was so late was because that's, I actually, I just got it on Monday. What, today's, is today Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. So I just got it yesterday and um, I was trying really hard to make sure that I got it out that same day. So editing was a nightmare because of all that traffic noise. And then I really like, I can't remember, I think it is, I think it is um, Nurse Rachel that takes her drills out and shows you the drills for each kit, the special drills. Like she, she actually takes them out of the bag and shows them in, uh, 
in a tray for you to see. And I just was like, I've always loved that because then you can actually see the specials in person and see what it looked like. I mean, not really in person, but you know, like without the bag in the way, the plastic of the bag. So I was like, well, I'm gonna do that over grass. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. So I totally spilled the lighter fairy dust color. And I don't say that in the, in the, in the video. So that's why you should watch sneak peeks or I mean, uh, whip and chats because you get more behind the scene than you would from the actual other videos. But yeah, that, that happened. Um, and so now I'm going to have to contact Diamond Art Club, embarrassingly so, and be like, so <laughs> I know you gave me this kit for free. I mean, not really for free. We work hard to make the videos. It was a ton of work, but still for free. And can you send me more diamonds for free? <laughs> because I spilled them all. And I mean, I had enough to show, but it was a good like half of it. And I tried to get as much out as I could, but the more I was like reaching in there in the grass, the more it was like falling in and it was kind of a nightmare. So, but other than that, and then that and kids running around in the background and I had to stop a lot to make sure I'm like, okay, everybody's good, everybody's safe. And there was a mishap I won't get into that was like just chaos and I, was like, I can't film this today because my kids are gonna die. Just kidding. <laughs> but whether by my own hands or because they're getting into something. But yeah, I don't know. It was just, um, it was chaos, but it was still so awesome. Anyway, so I just thought you guys would like to enjoy the kind of behind the scenes of it. Like this is, <laughs> like this is the calm of the video, but this is what's going on behind the scenes. And yeah, it was pretty funny. Well, it wasn't funny at all, but now in hindsight, it's funny. Maybe to you guys, it's still not funny to me. <laughs> it was just chaos. But I, I just, it was so cool to get that one in the mail and um, be able to do the first sneak peek that I had. So um, just a heads up, I don't think I'll get sneak peeks for a little while. I can't really go into it. Um, but just because a lot of us probably won't be getting a bunch of, maybe some of the more seasoned sneak peekers will, um, but a lot of us won't be getting a ton of the sneak peeks in as far as I know, maybe we will, um, but just a heads up on that. But there will be more in the future. And yes, and the only thing I'm gonna say is that Diamond Art Club has some really, really cool plans for the future. And oh my gosh, you guys are gonna just be so excited when you find out what they are. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, future channel changes. So I do, there's some things I do wanna keep going. I really love the artist highlight um, that I do and then you buy a kit. This next one's going to be a little different. Instead of an ar artist highlight I'm going to buy, um, it's actually an artist highlight I am going to, uh, I actually, I sent in for licensing. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. So, and what's so cool about this artist is that she is my neighbor. I have another artist too that I want to, that I I bought the rights to her art and I'm going to turn into a diamond painting and I want to send her into licensing. But this other artist I already have something going on with. Julie, you know who I'm talking about. Um, and I, I did tell her, or I, I might need to check on that. I did tell her it would be a little bit down the line just because everything. I have so many plans for my channel. It's just going to take time. But with this friend here, you guys might know her. It's Miriam Marks Arts. And I don't know if you guys, she's like got like 6 million followers on TikTok because she does the face. And I'm sure maybe you guys, many of you guys know her. She does the face painting songs where she turns her face into face painting. And then she like, sings along with her little microphone or whatever. You know what, I'm just going to, with her permission, I'm going to hop up a, just like a few seconds clip of the, one of her videos because they are so cool. And But she doesn't just do that art, she also does acrylic and watercolor and pretty much all of the other mediums. But um, she does acrylic and she has amazing acrylic artwork. So what I'm going to do is do an artist highlight and we're going to somehow figure it out that other people if you guys wouldn't mind, and if you like her artwork, send her into licensing too, so that we have a lot of people sending her into licensing so that she can be picked up by Diamond Art Club, because how cool would that be? And okay, right now I'm gonna show you, 
um, three of her pictures that she has, and they're actually, they are, they work so incredibly perfect for diamond painting, and they are right down my alley, woodland creatures, lots of color, um, I'm gonna pop those up right here, I just pop them up while I'm talking, so, um, they have, she has the bald eagle one, which you guys know, <laughs> and if you don't, if you're new here, I love bald eagles so much, um, go and watch other whipping chats if you want to know more about that, because, yeah, that's we're very much a bald eagle family here. And then uh, as well as um, she has a bear one. I'll pop that one up. And I, I just, I love this bear one. But my favorite one of all time is this, gosh, they're all so good. It's hard to choose. But is this moose one, which I'm going to pop up right here. And the moose one, I just, there's something about it. There's something about all her artwork. She really shows the movement. Like you can see the movement in the picture. It's it's, I mean, it's just the definition of being really good at showing the movement of your artwork in a still life picture like that. So, um, yeah, this moose one especially, I would absolutely love any of these. I mean, send her some love, go follow her on TikTok. I will try to link her stuff below as well as, um, the, her, her, like her, so it's her TikTok as well as, um, well, you know, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to, I don't know exactly how licensing works. Um, let me know what you guys think, how we're going to send her stuff into licensing because I don't want to pass out photos of her photos because I don't want it stolen. Not that I think you guys are gonna steal it, but just having it out on the internet in general, it might get stolen. So um, I don't know if what we're going to do is I could send you the watermark or maybe I'll, put up watermark paintings i don't know yet i'll i'll see if we're editing um images of her painting maybe you guys could like screenshot it and send it into licensing oh whatever it is if you guys want this art on here on diamond art club her art please do go and send her into licensing it would be amazing for her oh also other cool thing about this i don't know how i haven't mentioned this yet she is my neighbor and she goes to church with me. So she only lives like seriously 30 seconds away. <laughs> There's a lot more trash in this color than the other colors. I don't know if you can see that. My kids are going to go crazy over this trail. Zoom. There we go. Do you see all the holes on the top? That bothers me. It freaks, not the trash, that there's a little bit of trash, but like the, all the holes on the top, it like freaks me out. But the kids love it. <laughs> anyway, Miriam Marks, uh, Miriam Marks Arts, and that's her stuff. So go and check her out on and follow her and then send her stuff into licensing. I'll just make it so you can screenshot it or something with a watermark on there. Um, she is such an awesome person. She's becoming like a really close friend and they're just, they're, her whole family is awesome. And they came over and swam in the lake with us for a little bit. Oh, by swam, I guess Greg and her husband swam. I just kind of, mm, watch we just watched because it was too cold still to get in but yeah anyway just awesome family go ahead and do that that would be so cool i will be doing an artist highlight for her um so back to the channel stuff like that is my i'm still going to be doing artist highlights that's my next one planned we're probably going to do a collab uh video together and hold on pause for a second because it's done for how quickly i did that and for how much like multi-placing i did that that's really minimal gapping and it's really very straight. So that says a lot about the drill field. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. Um, another series that I'm going to make sure to hang on to, it doesn't get a ton of love on my channel, but I love doing it. And I think the people who watch Adore, like just love it, is the, um, whoops, sorry, is the um, artist ranking where I go and choose a, type of artist and rank them based off of which ones are my favorite uh so i only it's not like i say this is the worst one and this is the best one no it's just like all artists that i like and then which ones do i like the most so it's all it's all love towards the artists and kind of gets their names out there and i show you where they get their zoom focus i show you where they get their you can get their kits so um, that one is coming up. I'm going to start working on that here pretty soon. I'm going to be realistic animals. So yeah, 
keep an eye out for that one coming. I am, that is one that I'm totally going to keep going. And then Choco Cat Donut, that's what I'm gonna do next. You know what, maybe I'll leave that till last. Cinnamon or Choco Cat? You know I love chocolate. I gotta leave Cinnamon Cat to last. He's dang cute. Okay, so, um, oh, one thing I wanted to ask you guys about, are you interested in me doing a channel membership? Um, my, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about doing a channel membership. I don't, I love the idea of others doing channel memberships, but I feel like, I don't know. There's part of me inside that's like, why would anyone want to do that? Like, why would anyone be a member member of my channel? Like, that's weird. <laughs> you know, not that they would want to be, but just like, oh, let me rewind that. Like, I just don't see, this is the insecure part of me is like, I don't see the merit of someone wanting, like my own merit of why would someone want to be a member of my channel when there's so many other things they could put that towards. Um, so many other creators that they might want to be members of their channel instead. So that's my conundrum right now. But I would like to know what you guys think. And be honest, if you're kind of like, you know, I like the idea, but I won't be a member. You can totally say that. Don't, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But um, I, I would like to get the feels, feelers out there to see if it's something that would be worth doing. But my ideas are that I, I'm i starting, and I love this, I'm starting to get a big enough channel that my commenting, because I love to, I really love to comment on everybody's um, messages that they send me, but it's starting to be a little bit too much. I mean, I've got a family and they, these kids need me like all the time and I'm already very busy and I love, love going on and commenting to you guys. I love reading them. I for sure read them. But I think what I'm going to have to do is just have a set time where I answer comments back. And if I can't get through all the comments, I just can't because there's just no physically no time in the day to do all of it anymore. So what I was going to do with the channel membership is it might make it so that if you want for sure your comments to be seen um, and answered, that if you're a member, I'll make it so you like for sure your comments will be seen. And I know that's that's hard to say sometimes because I, I wouldn't want to be put it behind the paywall. I like I still would comment to as many as I can, but that way if you for sure want to be answered back for sure, then it'll have to just make sure that it, it's you, that you'd be a member. But um I'd still try my best to answer people back. It's just physically not possible anymore to get everybody. Oh no. I just realized I've not been on the camera the whole time. Anyway, um, so I figured I'd do that as well as I would really like to make a vlog style like I did for my thousand subscriber video where I would, what I figured I'd do is just kind of keep everybody up to date, like the members up to date on any diamond painting news that I found out, um, like any new deals that I see, hey, if you hop on, the deal will last from here to here. Um, and then I figure I won't really go over new releases. I think that there's enough channels that do that and they do it really well. But I figure what I'll do is just kind of vlog in general about what's going on in life, kind of a more in-depth whip and chat sort of thing. But um, just kind of like how I did where I, I faced myself and talked about, faced myself, the phone faced me, <laughs> the camera faced me, and then I, I, I talk about kind of just a quick snippet of when, what went on that day, as well as um, give you my up-to-date whip, um, daily whip progress, I suppose. Like, what is it that I, I worked on two squares of this, and I finished a paint gem or something like that. So like as an example today, I will have finished all of this whole set of the Cinnamon Cat sets as well as I finished a square on my yield stitching room and then I did half of a, the diamond, um, what's it called? Half of the diamond 
paint gem, <laughs> sorry, half of the paint gem and kind of just show you and show you the actual video of uh, my progress. Maybe not like me working on it, but at least just the video of my progress. So I thought that that might be a cool one to have under the channel membership. It's just kind of an extra. I thought that would be not, I don't want to take any videos that I already do and put it behind a paywall. I don't think that's fair. I think that I will just add it as an extra. Be like, if you want to know more, then um, yeah, then it's just an extra thing you could do. And on top of all that, it'd be a really awesome way to support my channel. Um, and it just takes a lot of work and time to make these videos. And I love it. I have so much fun. Um, but yeah, that'd be awesome to kind of, you know, have it support my channel. And anything that I would get from memberships, I would absolutely make sure would just go straight back into the channel. Like that would not go into anything else besides going back into the channel and making more content for you guys. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. I think we're probably coming up to the hour mark if not having way past it. So uh, let's see. I did want to say that I, at some point I might try doing monthly lives. I haven't decided that yet, on that yet. Um, and then I know someone had a really good idea about lives, but I can't remember it right now, but it's in the comments. And I've written all these, a lot of these suggestions down, as well as um, monthly, no, no, sorry, the sneak peeks um, will be continuing on my channel. So look forward to those. As well as the one thing I think I want to change is that I don't think I'm going to do whip parades as their own video anymore. I think what I'm going to do is turn it all into a month in review plus whips. And I, I know a lot of people who do that and it makes for a really good fun video. Plus, um, I think it could be condensed into one video and talk about everything I worked on that month as well as what did I finish. So that's it for the changes I wanna do. I think that's it for this, uh, this whip and chat. And yeah, I want to show you guys the pen. I'm going to kind of give you a little view of the pen. I love that knot right there. That's so cool. I just, I love what he makes. Oh, this is a Rose Patagonia wood. So that is the name of this one. And I'm so excited, guys. This is turning out to be probably my favorite pen I've worked with, to be honest. And really, really, was, this is going to be hard to let go. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I want it, <laughs> but no, it's yours. It's one of your guys's. And so look forward to that video. Thank you for joining me on my whip and chat. It's probably a longer one that we normally do, but that's okay. I think that I got all the information that I wanted to, to you guys. So keep an eye out for this video. I'm showing everything here that I hope is going to be coming out tomorrow. If not, it will be coming out Friday and uh, the other unboxing for the other kits that she sent, which are looking so cute. I, I did already open it. Sorry guys, you know how I am with spoilers. And then, uh, but I, I'll be excited to show that to you guys. Thanks for joining me. Ooh, if you did make it this far, why don't you put a little chocolate donut down there since that's what we ended on <laughs> was the chocolate donut. Thanks guys, bye.